Congrats on the win, Pablo. Um, kind of a roller coaster of, of a game a little bit there, especially with you know the first 30 minutes. Obviously, didn't want to see those guys have to go out. Um, I guess what what was kind of uh, your mindset as things started to go maybe not the way you wanted, but then you ended the half on on what seemed like a, a good a good note, I guess. Yeah, I think again, I think getting results in in any league is there's so many variables to it, and a lot of times we try to break it down to possession or shots on goal. Uh, there's so many, there's an unlimited amount of variables and, and tonight having two guys go down in the first half is not something you ever planned for. So the mindset from that point on is, you know, we got to make it to the 75th minute before we, we unload. We can't risk. And so the conversation at halftime was, is, you know, making sure everyone's in a physical condition to be able to endure the, to the 75 minute mark. And I thought, you know, the guys that started the game and the guys that came into the game played a, played a really good game. And I think defensively as a group, um, we're, we're doing a fantastic job and creating a lot of great opportunities in the counter. Um, just the commitment from the guys up front, you know, Saab, Andres, Rubio, Anderson, and then Danny, um, you know, is just really commit, committed to, to making it difficult for teams to play and in doing so making it predictable for the guys behind them, which then, you know, winning balls in the midfield. And I think the first goal is a great example of that. Um, Jasper, you know, intercepting the ball and, and, and combining with Danny and, and scoring a goal. So. I think you know through all the hardship that we've been going through, um, there's definitely a, a lot of silver lining in, in, in the performances, and I think you know it's it's great to to put three very good performances you know back to back. So it's 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 a it feels good, um, and I think it validates all the work. And then this is the second uh, game in a row you guys have won at home, and also the second game in a row at home that you've scored three goals. What what is it just about this environment, I guess, that you guys have been able to feed off? You know, I think in our league. Um, home is a big advantage um, I think guys um, vibe off the fans who have been fantastic um, and you know I think like I said I think as a player you play for that type of you know type of environment and and it really brings the best out of the guys um, and there's just a different vibe obviously here at home so um, you know I, I think we learned a lot from those games that, those points that we dropped early on um, but I think we're moving in the right direction Enhorabuena, Pablo. El, el triunfo es el convencimiento, ¿no? Es el, el, el a pesar de perder la semana pasada, sales con el mismo equipo porque estás convencido de lo que estás haciendo, ¿no? Y, y yo creo que lo transmitiste y lo, y lo vimos en, en la actuación del partido, del, del equipo hoy, ¿no? ¿Cómo estaban convencidos de lo que hacían? Sí, no, yo creo que, como dije, los últimos tres partidos hemos jugado bastante bien con, 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 con el mismo grupo. Y para mí, la confianza viene cuando se ve lo que va a hacer el compañero, los movimientos del compañero. Eh, tener un delantero que, que puede traer el equipo adelante y el otro, el otro delantero que estira el, la línea de, defensiva. Y pues lo veo durante la semana y lo vi los últimos tres partidos. Así, para mí es, un, eh, es muy importante tener la confianza Primero en uno mismo, pero también en los compañeros. Y este grupo andan muy bien. Claro, vamos a tener que hacer dos cambios la semana que viene. Pero yo creo que eh, la mentalidad del grupo, eh, estamos muy bien en este momento. Una última cosa, Andrés Gómez hoy metió un gol, un golazo. Pero aparte de eso, el crecimiento ha sido espectacular en tan poco tiempo. ¿no? La confianza que le ha dado al, al chico es tremenda. ¿no? Sí, yo creo que... También hay, hay cosas fuera del fútbol que afecta a jugadores, ¿no? Yo creo que ha encontrado un grupo con varios compañeros, se juntan para comer, eh, toman clase de, de inglés junto, y, eh, muy, muy, eh, se ha acercado mucho con el Anderson y el, el Saba y el Brian, Vera, y son como, son como hermanos afuera de la cancha. Y yo creo que eso le da mucho confianza uh, para, afuera del campo, pero también cuando está jugando es, es como son, son, son hermanos y yo creo que eso ha ayudado bastante y también nuestro entrenador de arquero Nacho Hernández los, los, los lleva a comer a todos uh, los latinos y, 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 y eso son cosas muy importantes, especialmente pa, para un pibe que viene de Colombia y está en un país nuevo para, por la primera vez en, la, en su vida. All right, um, a couple of questions, obviously talking within 
the game, last week's game, they came out with the same team today. Um, the question was, you obviously like that lineup and what you saw in that group to bring them out today. Yes, I think the last three games we have played together with the same group and the confidence comes when you see the movements of your teammates having a forward that we know is going to bring your team forward and a defender that's going to defend. Um, the team also has confidence and this group is doing well. Obviously, two changes we'll have to make for next week, but the group mentality is great. Next question is in regards to Andres and his playing and development here. Um, of course, there's things outside of football that affect the game. He's doing better, though. He has a good group of friends, is taking English lessons, and has gotten very close to Anderson and Brian Vera, and that gives him confidence and has helped a lot. And Nacho, our, our one of our coaches, takes everyone out to eat. All of the Latinos, they all go out to eat. And um, obviously, having that is definitely important. Hey, Pablo, congrats on the win, and, uh, and thank you for your time. Um, I feel like it was, it was a bit of a rough start to the season, some really tough games, some tough weeks for the team. As of late, the team has been playing a lot better. Um, this might be a little bit of a difficult question, but are you able to identify maybe one or two things that kind of have changed? And, and from your perspective, what you see that's helping the team really click right now? You know, I, I think we all want things to go uh, in, a, in, a, in a vertical trajectory, um, whether it's off the field or on the field. And, and really, life and sport are all about overcoming obstacles, you know? And I think um, we didn't get off to the start that we wanted. Um, you know, and I said to the guys, you know, last year we had a flying start, one of the best in club's history. and we had a battle in the last game at home to get in the playoffs. So it doesn't matter how you start, it's how you finish. And, 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 and just seeing, one of the biggest things I've seen is, is really Saverino's mentality, um, which has a direct correlation to his play. And, and he's really, um, I've never seen him work so hard defensively. Um, and, and again, it's, it's, I don't know if it's cliche, um, but defending's about team. Attacking is about individuals. And when you buy into the team, it's amazing how the game rewards you with great attacking opportunities. And, and he's capitalizing on it. He's putting his, you know, against Dallas, he put his head where, where few want to put it, um, being one of the smallest guys on the field. And so he's been a huge catalyst uh, to, to everything we're doing. And, and when he's in a good way, I feel like the group's in a good way, um, you know, and, and on the offensive side. And then the guys in the back have been just, stalwarts and the guys in the midfield have been the engine room that that we anticipated having so again I, I we speak about individuals at times but it's really about the collective mindset um that's really and and because again i can have all the belief in the world if they don't believe it we're not moving forward right and and, and i think it's it's a testament to the, to the characters of the guys in the locker room um and, and the experience leadership in there um that that really drive this thing forward Demir Krylock uh, coming off an injury, notably on the bench, available for this game today. Was the decision to, to not play him or give him any time today on the field, was that a tactical decision or was it kind of health related as well? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of both, right? Uh, so Dami sat out for a week um, and putting him into this game. Um, you know, there's there some, some questions about, you know, how we, he'd respond being out for a week. Um, but also tactically, you know, we had to make a, a right back sub, which wasn't anticipated. We had to make a midfield sub, which wasn't anticipated. And then we had one, one attacking sub that we wanted to make. And, and Chang being the, um, the, the consummate professional, uh, up a game, up a goal, just, he's just a, a, the way he defends from that advanced position is fantastic. Um, and so every game, um, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll provide us with the changes that, that are necessary. You know, it, it would have been great to get Dami out there, um, but, it, but again, I think it's, it's important for us at this time to make sure that we're doing everything to, to secure the three points. Lastly, on a short week, you, uh, your, your team plays Las Vegas Lights in Vegas uh, midweek for the Open Cup game. Um, could you kind of let us know on, on what we are to expect for the team as far as lineups go and, and how you're kind of handling uh, that, that quick turnaround? Well, again, I think today, uh, you know, losing two guys today um, definitely changed a little bit of that, and and we got to be cognizant of uh, of the season as well. But uh, you know, like I told the guys after the game, it's short week. We want to make a run in this tournament, you know, and 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 you know, last year I don't think we had the the ability to do that um, for a multitude of reasons. I, I think this year we're we're, we're putting a, a strong a, a really strong team and. Uh, 
it's something that, uh, that we've talked about internally that, that we want to make a go. Um, and so it's, again, it, it'll give some guys that haven't had as many runs, but there's going to be a, a wealth of experience on the field as well to, to make sure that we protect some of the younger players. Um, but there, there will be a, a wealth of experience and a, and a very good team on the field. Hey, Pablo, solid performance from the team tonight. Obviously, a couple early substitutions. I know you touched on it a little bit already. Um, how do you feel like that impacted the game, and, and how do you feel like the team responded to those early changes? Yeah, I mean, it definitely impacts the game. There's there's never a time where you plan on making a sub uh, before half uh, for two reasons. One, uh, and the most important one is you you burn uh, what you know two of your three subbing opportunities. Um, but but again, you have to adapt, and I thought the guys adapted well, and uh, they were dialed in on, on both sides of the ball. So um, again. Uh, you can't control some of these things. These are these are these are outside influences. But the way we can control them is with mindset and our ability to go out there. And the guys that, that step on the field do a great job. And like I said, every single one of those guys that stepped on the field did a, did a really good job. Pablo, thanks for the time as always. You've talked about the subs now. What does Diego Luna have to do to get on the field? Because this felt like a really positive opportunity for him to see some minutes. Yeah, like I said, there's 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 a case to be made for every guy in that locker room. I, I, you know, I don't have I don't have a favorite player. I love all of them. They all provide something unique, and and so through the course of the week, you you assess you know best position, opponent, how it's going. But for me as a coach, the most important thing is chemistry. It's not about an individual player. It's about how does this player affect the group and and how in in, in both the good and the bad, right? Because every player's got has to have a weakness. And so the way I looked at, you know, it's it's not about giving Diego Luna a shot in this game. It's about putting the guys on the field that we need to to win the game. Because, again, you can make a case for Demir. You can make a case for Miriam, who had assists last week, right? And so every player is deserves to be out there. And the difficult thing is not being able to play 30 players. That's, that's the most difficult thing. Um, and, you know, again, like I said, we want to make a run in this cup. I think, you know, Diego will get a run on Wednesday and uh, with, with, again, surrounded by some, some experienced pros and look forward to, you know, giving us some minutes in the midweek game. Yep. Nah. Si sale en el primer tiempo, me imagino que no andan bien. O sea, si era un lesión... El Anderson es un jugador muy dinámico, muy rápido y siempre, por lo menos un, una vez por año, tiene la misma lesión. Y el Vera dijo tampoco que podía arrancar para hacer sprint. Y para mí me, me, me imagino que va a tomar un, un, una semana para recuperarse. Uh, question was just in terms of the two injuries today, um, if we think they're bad injuries, uh, if they had to come out of the game, I would imagine they're a little bit complicated. Anderson is a very dynamic player, very fast, and at least once a year he tends to have an injury. Vera said he couldn't sprint, so that's kind of what we're looking at approximately a week till. Congrats on the win tonight. Um, th three goals in the past get three games for Severino. What do what does he bring to the club that you absolutely enjoy? Um, again, he's 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 a killer in front of goal. Like, you know, a lot of times you want to teach people to score goals. Um, he's got the obviously he has the technique to do that, and a lot of players around the world have the technique to do that. It's really an instinct and a real desire. Um, and like I I said earlier about his his go the goal that he scored in Dallas. That's not one where he's on the ball. That's him off the ball, putting his head in, in a dangerous spot to get it knocked off, right? A lot of guys don't even dare go into those spaces. And so he's got this real drive um, to score goals. And then when you do that, the, the effect that it has on, on defenses allows space for other teammates to get on the ball. And, and so that's what great attacking players do, is they create opportunities for themselves, but they also open up space because of the psychological threat that he's going to get on the board. And so. You know, I think Sava last year had there was a big learning curve coming into our league, coming into the team, coming into the way we want to play. 
I, I think in the last three games, he's, he's really been a catalyst. Uh, in, and again, everything that we're doing from an attacking perspective, and now you're seeing his work defensively, which is tremendous for the team. Uh, Pablo, felicidades por la victoria. Uh, fue un partidazo el que hizo el Real Salt Lake hoy. Uh, me gustaría saber cómo está el ánimo del equipo para enfrentarse el miércoles en Las Vegas y viene un duelo muy importante contra Seattle, ¿no? que es, es uno de los derbis, por decirlo así. ¿no? Uh, ¿Cómo está el ánimo? ¿Cómo se encuentra el equipo? ¿Y, y, y cómo, cómo ha mejorado el equipo esta, esta victoria? Eh, yo creo que para mí eh, el equipo está en un, en un momento bueno, Estamos jugando bastante bien. Eh, el, el partido contra el Dallas, jugamos muy, muy bien, pero no sacamos el resultado. Y para mí, veo un equipo que, que tiene mucha potencia, que en este, momen, en este momento estamos fuertes mentalmente, físicamente. Estamos jugando con calidad, con el balón. Y ya eh, tenemos mucha experiencia con partidos que no fueron como quisimos, pero en este momento estamos, eh, yo creo que el equipo está muy bien eh, psicológicamente. Eh, yo creo que el partido, eh, como dije, queremos hacer, eh, queremos competir en esta Copa del US Open Cup en, en una manera de, diferente que el año pasado. Creo que tenemos los jugadores para, para, hacer, un, un, para hacer un buen trabajo en el torneo y, y, y para ganar. Y, ese, ese es el, el desafío del grupo, eh, prepararnos en los próximos días para, para ese partido y también enfrentar un Ciaro al fin de semana que viene eh, que, que andan muy bien y yo creo que es otro partido jugar en casa que jugar de visitante, creo que vamos a estar listos para, para, para Ciaro. I would like to know what the team mentality is at the moment, especially going into Vegas on Wednesday and against Seattle next weekend. How's the team doing right now and how have they improved? I think for me, the team is going through a positive moment right now. We are, we are playing well. In the game against Dallas, we played very well. We just didn't get the results. For me, I see a team that has a lot of potential that is strong mentally and physically. We are playing a quality game. We did have games that didn't go our way or the way we wanted, but right now the team is doing very well. We want to compete in the Open Cup differently than what we did last year. I believe we have the players to do it and we want to win. That's our goal, to prepare for that game and also to go against a Seattle team that is doing very well. Hey, Dylan on Zoom, uh, you're up. Hey, Pablo, just um, circling back a little bit on, on um, Andres, the, you, you mentioned kind of his, his acclimation and how that's been going, which has been a positive for you. But uh, a two-parter, what, what do you think, um, I know sometimes potential is a dangerous word, but what, what do you think of his potential? And, and also, do you think he's kind of a perfect complement to, to Severino? Yeah, no, I think uh, his potential is just, you know, he, he, he's got all the tools to be world class. Uh, I think one of the one of the things coming from Colombia, they, they played a different scheme. The, the style of play is different. Um, our league's much more transition based. Um, there's there's a lot more structure in the attack. And those are things that he's he's learning as he's going. Um, understanding the, the, you know, the, the channels that we want to occupy in the attack. If our outside back's in the wide channel, he's occupying the, 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 the half space. And then after that, it's really his movements that have to occur a lot earlier than they're occurring. Um, and that's why I think now he's finding a lot of success in transition. Uh, because again, the game's open at, at that point, and then it, he's not really thinking. So I think he's got all the tool sets. His 1v1's great. His ability to work back is fantastic. You know, the goal he scored tonight kind of speaks for itself. I think he's a player that a lot of people don't realize. He, he's, and he took a couple shots in the first half. He, he's, he, he can really strike the ball and, and does it with both feet. Um, and, his, and, and the other part of his game, I think that we need to continue working on is running without the ball. You know, I think in the, the, you know, all the stuff that we saw from, from Columbia was him running with the ball. And he's a player that has the ability Um, and just needs to break that, bring that into his game and, and make that a bit of a habit. But, but again, I think 
you know, Andres could be a world-class player. And, um, you know, is that in the next three years? Is that four years? Is that next year? You know, like you said, potential is a, a dangerous word. And I think if he keeps trending in the in, in the direction that he's moving in, I think he's he's going to be a, a, a fantastic player in this league. And then just the, the, the compliment to, to Sabrina, oh, you think? Yeah, no, I think it's fantastic. You know, the, the, way, the way we're set up is um, our creativity comes from, our, from, from one of our wings, right? So Saba, um, when he plays, Miram, when he plays, they have the, uh, the freedom to really find the, the half space um, and central channels as well. Because uh, we always have two forwards pinning high. And so Saba, so that position on, on the left wing in particular is 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 a creative uh, more flexibility um and and th in our setup that's that's where we're, i like to have our creative players and so on the opposite wing you have more of a chang you have uh andres which are more direct more getting in behind the back line and so the way we're set up i, I think the complement of uh, for saba is is andres and and the great thing too is they have a really good understanding uh, of each other's movements and they look for each other um and and so I think it's a it's a, it's a real nice combination to have. One last question, and then uh, we'll get to Jasper. Okay, so for Wednesday, we see well lately we see in the team that has been coming on we're more hungry, wanting the ball, wanting to control the game, and wanting to just get up there. You know, for Wednesday I would expect in the same ten, and if if it goes well, are you planning to give priority to? more to that cup or you are we still fighting for everything i i think the the the, the tricky thing um is, is is striking the right balance you know i think every team goes through that uh you you want to you want to make sure um that you're not putting players at risk minutes wise but you also want to compete the right way um so guys that played a lot of minutes and again our, our physical numbers in the last three games have been very high um, and I think it shows in, in the performances. Um, and so it's always striking a balance of guys that are playing well, um, but not getting the minutes for whatever reason. Um, and then bringing in a couple guys that are getting regular minutes as well to kind of to, to, to kind of steady the ship. Um, and, and I think that's that's always um, a balance to juggle around. And, and then with that, you know, the, the fact that we lost two guys today in the first half is is changes that a little bit and and we'll just have to figure out the right setup and the right guys to to be able to approach that game midweek the right way